welcome back to my youtube channel in the course of today's lesson i'll be discussing about the ph concept calculations and in my previous class i discussed about the introductory aspect to the ph concept where i said that the ph measures the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution and there is a scale to measure the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution and that scale is simply called the ph scale which ranges from 0 to 14 all these i have it in the previous lesson so you go watch that video lesson meanwhile in the course of today's class we'll be talking about the calculative aspect of the ph concept and on this aspect we have four important formulas to take note of and the first one is this this must be noted the first formula to take note when solving questions on the ph concept is simply this which is ph is equal to the negative you know this is minus sign so what, what do we call this class negative is it positive no so negative so ph is equal to the the negative class what's this log, 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 log. are you getting me now so ph is equal to negative log reading to the base 10 i can actually write base 10 here just 10 so this must be noted so ph is equal to negative log reading to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration now this is where i'm to stress everybody listen carefully now first of all remember in our normal classes where we talked about the introductory aspect to acid base and salt you know that we have various scientists that brought about their definition for acid and bases okay i believe you know that like likes of zvante arenas like likes of, uh, of gilbert newton lewis definition and also likes of johans nicholas bronsted and thomas m laurie but you know that we have the definition for acid that says when acid is a substance which when dissolved in water produces uh, a, a, a hydrogen ion as the only word positive ion so this symbol written here class it is called hydrogen ion because there's something i want us to take note of that's why i'm doing this now are you not seeing the formula that this hydrogen ion was inside the bracket it's not inside the bracket yes it is inside the bracket so when hydrogen ion is inside the bracket the name will change class what did we call h plus initially hydrogen ion but if hydrogen ion is inside the bracket we'll call it something because it must be noted here that in chemistry most of the times these brackets you are seeing it means something it means concentration this is very important bracket means what concentration in chemistry so now since hydrogen ion which we all know is inside the bracket what do we now call this i will then call it hydrogen ion concentration do you get what i'm doing now so this must be noted that is why the first formula we must take note of when we are solving questions on the ph concept is this formula which is ph is equal to the negative logarithm to the base 10 of what is it just of hydrogen ion or of hydrogen ion concentration because we are seeing what bracket in it are you getting me now and this must be noted i have to take note of you guys have to take note of this that in chemistry in this topic of acid base and salt ph whenever we discuss about ph what we are interested in is what acid but anything that happens to acid must happen to base so as we are having ph happening to acid we will also have another symbol called poh so poh will be relating to what now base are you getting the point so moving further this is another formula that we all must take note of which is poh formula are you getting me now and poh formula is simply goes like this poh is equal to you know i said anything that happened to acid more happen to what base so it's now almost the same but just something different minus log open bracket close bracket now when we define acid according to sorry when we define base 
according to Zvanti Arenos, that's the first man that talked about this acid and base. We said that a base is a substance which, when dissolved in water, produces hydroxide ion. What did I say? Produces what? Hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ion as the only one. Is it as the only positive ion or as the only negative ion? Negative ion. So it means that this hydroxide ion is OH. But since it's an ion, it will have a negative charge. Are you getting me now? Because we said that a base of substance which is in water produces a hydroxide ion as a what? Negative ion, OH minus. Are you getting me now? Now, class, between H plus and OH minus, which one is called a cation and which one is called an anion? H plus, H plus is what, class? Anion. Yes, very, very correct. A plus cation, OH minus is what? Anion. Because cations are positively charged atoms. Well, anions are what? Negatively charged atoms. So if you have plus charge, you are a cation. If you have minus charge, you are what? An anion. Are you getting my point? Let's take other examples. Class, when we see Cl minus and when we see Na plus, between Na plus and Cl minus, which one is called a cation and which one will be called an anion? Is what? Very nice. Cat ion. Well, this will be called anion. Do you get the point? Very, very easy. So, what, you know, I said anything that happening to acid must happen to base. So, definitely, since we are dealing with P, it's very clear now. You know, say OH here. So, what should I put inside? OH minus. Are you getting me now? So, when we now have OH minus in a bracket, what will I call this? Hydroxide ion. Very nice. I believe the concept is clear, class. Yes. So, this is something we must take note of. So, I said that in solving questions on the pH concept, we have to take note of four formulas. And we've talked about how many now? Two. So, do you get we have four for your level for this basic level when you get when you go advanced there are other formulas but for this level for your jam exam and also work examination these formulas i'm right i'm to write now on the board is very important so moving further class this must be noted it must be noted here that remember in my previous lesson with you guys i i told you guys that the phk ranges from what zero to 14. so the the the, the maximum number that will be on the phk is what 14. Do you get now? This must be noted. It must be noted here that when we had pH and when we had pOH, we get a number. What's that number? 14. So pH plus pOH is equal to what? 14. So, class, moving further. So, this is the third formula we must take note of. So, moving further, the fourth formula we must take note of when solving questions on the pH concept is this that when we multiply. H plus in a bracket class remember is this symbol just called hydrogen ion or hydrogen ion concentration, hydrogen ion concentration. very nice so H plus times you know this dot means what times in maths do you get so this one something must take note of so H plus times OH minus is equal to something which is one times 10 raised to the power of minus 14. Do you get? As we progress in this class lesson, you'll be able to understand properly how we can solve questions on this aspect. Do you get? So, the first one I said is pH is equal to minus log into H plus uh, in a bracket called hydrogen ion concentration. The other is pOH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of what? Hydrogen, sorry, hydroxide ion concentration. And the third one is what? pH plus pOH gives us what? 14. And H plus in a bracket times OH minus in a bracket is equal to what? 1 times 10 raised to the power of minus 14. So all these must be noted. So what we want to do next is to start solving practice question. And I will tell you when to use each of the formulas. So guys, moving further, for us to understand the concept of pH properly we have to start solving practice question now the first question says determine the ph of hcl now first of all hcl class is hcl an acid or a base acid yes it is an acid 
are you seeing it now s here is what an acid and now what is the question saying determine the what ph of this acid which is what acl remember what did i tell you guys that ph is what relating to what acid and poh is relating to what base so the question says calculate ph of hcl which we all know to be what acid given the bracket h plus in what moles per dm cube now let me quickly say this this thing i are seen as mole slash dm cube is pronounced as moles this thing that you are saying slash is pronounced as what per and what dm cube so class pronounce it moles per dm cube so the point here is this they said determine the ph that's what the question says and out of the formulas i wrote which one has ph will be at the beginning it's not the first so it means that definitely we have to use this formula can we use this formula to solve this question no because they did not say determine what poh so this i mean the ph of this acid acl and the formula that to apply is this first formula written on the board which is ph is equal to what's the formula minus log into bracket h plus now let's bring out our parameters given in the question did they give us h plus in the question yes because the question says determine the ph of hcl giving the h plus in what most per dm cube to be this what value so what's the h plus one times 10 raised power what minus three and what's the estimate of this value most per dm cube so class this must be noted we have to take note of this i want to say now remember in our normal mathematics this value which is one times 10 raised to the power of minus three can also be represented as 0 0.001 i believe it's uh, understood so moving further let's impute this value into our formula for h plus do you get so ph will not be equal to minus log into the value okay h plus value 0 0.001 i can try to put this also i just like this i like the value to be in this decimal form are you getting me now so let's calculate the ph by imputing this in our calculator so when we do that we get the ph to be uh minus log into 0 0.001 close the bracket what are we having as our ph we are having the ph of this acid to be three class is so logical listen look this is how we get it just move your point one two three so what's that three do you get so your ph for this acid is what three is not difficult it is easy so let me just give you guys this question you saw for me let's say determine the ph of a solution given the h plus bracket h plus rather to be 0 0.01 moles per dm cube class what do you think becomes the ph what do you think becomes the ph two because it's so much understood in the sense that i told you guys you move your point one and two so what becomes a ph two but you know you can impute all this in your calculator and get same answer the only time you do this is when you have this set of numbers let's say we have something like they give us to be zero the h plus for instance in the question to be 0 0.002 uh, for instance you can't do what we did now you can't move your point no this is math okay when you have this set of numbers you impute it in your calculator and get your answer do you get so it's so much easy but there are still more to learn about the ph concept calculations now if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this lesson and also share these video lessons with your friends thanks for watching